today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the C route out of the play double post and why I believe that the C route might be one of the most underrated routes in the entire game because of what it can do for you in terms of attacking certain meta defensive adjustments that a lot of people like to do when they're defending gun bunch. Now, if you want to learn my entire uh, Indianapolis Colts offensive ebook, that's the playbook we're in today. You can get access to that by becoming a Patreon member. This has been in the Patreon for months and we have a ton of more stuff. Uh, that we're dropping every single day, trying to help people get better on both offense and defense. So if you really want to take your game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below. Now, what makes this so good is there's a lot of route combos in Madden 24 that utilize a short side bunch. Let me give you a quick example. Something like this, real simple, little flood concept. It works really, really well to the short side of the field because obviously a lot of people are rocking deep out zone knockouts on their outside corners which make it so that it's a little bit harder to throw these corner routes also, uh, to the wide side. But the beauty of this solo wide receiver on the C route is, especially with set feet lead, you can actually fit the C route in some pretty tight windows. So the route combination that we're actually going to be going over is we're going to drag the slot receiver and we're going to wheel route the running back. So see, this is basically what the route combo is going to look like. Now, what we're going to accomplish here is essentially a three-level sale concept on the left-hand side of the field with a backside post route. Most people, whenever they see that we're going to be running double post, they're going to go ahead and user the deep post route. And this is where the C route becomes a very, very powerful route in your arsenal. So what you're going to see is when we run this, um, the running back is going to pull that outside quarter, and then you're going to be able to throw this C route to the outside and basically possession catch up before a deep out zone KO defender is able to get out there. Another one of the most popular adjustments that a lot of people like to do against Gun Bunch, especially against when someone is basing kind of out of a man-to-man -man coverage, is they will put an outside third to try to defend this solo wide receiver. Well, the beauty of this route combination is if they do that adjustment, you're going to see here that this running back is going to basically pull the outside third and the man-to-man -man defender, and it's going to leave this C route underneath for an easy gain against the opponent. So pretty much against any kind of press alignment, this can be a very advantageous route combo. Now we're going to take a look here at the cover two. And a lot of people are in some type of cover two Mabel, but most of the time if you're Mabeling, that means that your corner is going to be backed off at the line of scrimmage. He's not going to be at the line of scrimmage. He's going to be kind of backed off. If they're at the line of scrimmage, this is kind of your cue here that you could probably throw this. You're going to see here that a default cloud flat is going to struggle to be able to get over there. Woolen actually played it pretty well because of his height, height advantage. But another thing that you can do um, to try to kind of counter this is if you do have the hot route master, what you'll notice about the hot route master C route is it's a little bit deeper than the uh, stock one that's in double post. So you'll see here it's got a better chance of getting over the top of that cloud flat defender. Now, the other thing that we didn't really hit on just yet is the value of the backside drag. So the value of the backside drag here, and if you want to, go ahead and motion this post right out. We'll get to that in a minute. But the value of this outside drag is if that guy does drop back to go defend that player, you can throw this almost like a flat route to the left-hand side. So they have to do a lot of things to be able to defend this C route. The other thing that uh, you have going for you on this play, though, is you have this backside post route which happens to be one of the best routes in the entire game. So what you're going to see here on this backside is if they are in a cover two style coverage, a lot of times this, uh, this guy can uh, get open over the middle of the field. And actually, I think I'll just leave him inside. You can motion him out or you could not. It's up to you. But the beauty of this is this backside post route, when you pair that with the tight end wheel, the tight end wheel can pull the deep half defender. And so there's this little pocket right in there that you can throw it. Also, you also have the tight end isolated over there on the right hand side so if they do bust a coverage over there on the right late in the play you do have access to that as well now let's talk about this real quickly against man to man we haven't spent a ton of time here uh, talking about how this is a really good man play first and foremost the drag when you pair the drag with the tight end wheel a lot of times it will cause a natural pick and rub and that tight end will get open to the flat relatively quickly Another thing is this C route, this specific one out of double post. And in my opinion, I actually find this to be a little bit more successful whenever I run this with the C route to the wide side of the field. What you'll see is when he cuts to the outside, if he doesn't, for whatever reason, get separation, you can easily just cut, cut it off and user catch it and at least prevent from any, you know, kind of worst case scenarios where they might pick it off. But a lot of times this C route is going to win against man to man coverage. Again, a lot of times also they really like to put that outside third defender over there, so that's something else to look for. 
and then this is going to start to cause them to have to do you know all kinds of different adjustments. For example, one of the things a lot of people like to do is they play a little shade down man. If they play shade down man, you're tied in wheel route. You'll see right here when he cuts up field, he actually has potential to get over the top of that. Another thing you have is you have this post that just absolutely lethal post route pretty much has to be usered. And so if they have to use the post route, if you think all this through, well, they have to use the post route. So, you know, their user, practically speaking, is probably going to be, you know, in the middle of the field here. So he's going to use the post over the middle. And then they're going to have this guy over the top for that safety. They might have this guy, you know, coming, you know, over to the middle or whatever. It depends on what they want to do. But another thing that's really good about this wheel route is this wheel route really does a good job of attacking man-to-man -man coverage. So if they don't have safety help over the top, you can hit the running back over the top as well. And this is just one of the many reasons why double post is an absolutely very valuable play. Pretty much the meta defense a lot of people are rocking right now is they're running these cover four uh, deep out zone KOs. It is a really, really good defense, but it's this specific concept really does a great job of attacking it. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. That's where you're going to get access to all of our eBooks, all of our updates, everything. For just $10 a month, you can sign up and become a better Madden player today. Feel free to cancel whenever you want. If you want to sign up, you can head down to the description and click the link down below.